So number 6 then from paper 1 of the 2023 Higher Maths 4 mark question for carrying out that integration. That seems a little bit generous because well, I suppose you might want to rewrite it. Well, you could do that in your head, that part. So you can see the x is explicitly in index form. That's x to the power 5. That's x to the power a half. Probably a mark for that. And then you just integrate. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power. Up to 6, divide by 6. But I'll just go straight in with the third. Up to 3 upon 2. Divide by 3 upon 2. So that's 2 over 3. So 6 times 2 over 3 would be 4. And then don't forget, plus C. And that might well be the marks then. Unless you want to put it back the way you found it, which was 1 third of X to the 6 minus 4 times. And what does that lot mean? Square root of it cubed plus C. But that's probably all they, they actually wanted. Number seven, for three marks, evaluate this expression here involving logs. You just did that earlier on. So you're just going to use your laws of logs. This time when you're adding them, it'll be the product. So it'll be the logarithm of five times one over 40. So that's the logarithm base 2 of 1 eighth, and then you should recognise that you've got a power of 2 there. It's a negative power because it's a reciprocal there, it's a fraction, it's less than 1, and it's 2 cubed, so negative 3 is the answer. In part B it says, given A is a real number, and the log of A is negative, that means it's less than zero. State the possible values of A. Well, that just means that A would have to be between one and zero. You just think of the log graph. It doesn't matter what the base is, it cuts at one. That would be A there. Above one, it's positive. At one, it's zero. Below one, it's negative but it can't reach zero, so it's between one and zero.